guys, happy baby day Monday. Welcome round, my name is SJ. I'm a member of three and I make baby name videos on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. If you are a parent-to-be, you will find so much baby name inspiration here. I know how hard it is sometimes to name a baby. Um, it was definitely something that I was working on since I was about 13 <laughs> with my endless name research. Um, so I'm putting that to good use now and actually helping out you guys to find a name you will absolutely love. If you do love baby names, then do hit subscribe. It is totally free. It just means that every time you log onto YouTube, it will pop up on your homepage when there is a new video from me. Um, so today's list is one I've had brewing for so long. It's one we've talked about doing for a while and it is baby names based on the four elements. So the four elements are fire, earth, water, and air. And we all also have personality traits uh, fall into one of those four elements. It's quite a strong part of the element story. Um, so the whole earth is made up of these four elements. Us as people um, are made up of those four elements, a lot of water in us. Um, and it is very much a spiritual thing as well. It's the basis of Buddhism, um, but scientific as well. Lots of scientific research goes into the elements. And many people believe it's very similar to our zodiac signs, and I have done a name list for each sign of the zodiac, but a lot of people believe it goes deeper than that and really reveals our true self. So have a listen to the names. Also have a think about which of these personality types you think matches you best. And you'll probably find yourself drawn to the names in that category as well. And it's a lovely way of naming a baby after kind of you and your partner's kind of different personality matches. Um, so yeah, let's get on with my list. So let's start with earth. If you are an earth personality type, we think of the earth as being very grounded, but actually the earth is continually in motion. Um, and that is something that is very hardworking and earnest about an earth personality type. They're very, very, very instinctive people. So the example is around, you know, if you're in a forest and all the birds go quiet and there's that sort of instinct, that um, foresight that an earth personality type would have and trust very strongly. So they're a really good person to go to for advice. They're very extremely loyal. They're really good at keeping secrets. Um, however, if you cross them or cheat on an earth personality type, they are known to have a huge amount of anger. Um, so that's going to be the downside of an earth personality type. But earth to me, you know that I love nature names, one of my favourites, and the pinnacle name for this category would be Gaia. Gaia is Mother Earth. It's ranked at number 64 in the UK and it's gaining quite a lot of popularity and it's quite a hard one to pronounce and say, but I absolutely love it. If you are a very earth mother type, then why not use the name Gaia? Or if you're looking for an unranked kind of goddess name, then the goddess of the harvest was Demeter. So she was also the mother of Persephone, and Persephone is one of those names that's kind of been getting a bit of traction over the last few months. So she was the goddess of the harvest and also very linked to that cycle of life and death um, that we see throughout nature often. Demeter. I think it really works. Demi is obviously a really lovely nickname. Demeter. What do you think of it? I feel like it kind of could work a bit like a Delilah alternative. And there were 20 baby girls named Acacia last year. Another Greek name it means thorny bush, <laughs> Acacia. Um, but I think it's so lovely. It's a very unique name. Um, and it does date right back. They talk about Acacia wood that was used to build lots of shelters and lots of um, safety spots in the wilderness. So it really, works I feel like with the earth personality types kind of protective instinctual kind of nature acacia what do you think of the name the boy is a popular one at number 43 but actually on a downward trend is the name mason so mason's been around for a very long time it was particularly popular over in america where it was like number one or two um in around 2011 um and it means stone worker and it's actually an occupational name of course but it's one of the most historic occupational names that we see it was one of the very first trades or crafts when masons stone masons who started to domesticize animals to help them as well so it goes right back um, to our history so it's a very ancient name as well mason and very grounding very earthy or the name vermont so vermont is obviously a place name i really like it i love the v and it actually means green mountain and it was named by the french explorer who discovered vermont i just literally called it green mountain it's a popular place of skiers and outdoorsy people um so if that matches you and i just think it's a really cool name i've never been to vermont 
can't tell you what it's like i've seen some pics <laughs> it's very green and there's a mountain <laughs> One of my favourite really hipster names is the name Digby. Um, it's actually getting a bit of popularity now. It's at number 1030. Not that popular, um, but it's going up, up, up. And one of my best friends has a little boy called Digby, and I love his name. And it means from a ditch by a farm, uh, which I think is lovely, but I think it's such a trendy name. Air personality types. If you're an air personality type, you will be very carefree, very flexible. You make brilliant friends because apparently you're very, very witty and they're quite academic types as well. So apparently if you're an air personality type, you would likely be a scholar um, or just love to read. The bad side of an air personality type is you can sort of break traditions and be a little bit too easy breezy for some other personality type, maybe an earth type who quite likes the structure. You could come across as a little bit flippant, a little bit selfish maybe because you you blow in the wind with your personality. Um, but it's really hard to hold a grudge against somebody with an air type because you're just so charming and you bring people along with you. So what kind of names would suit an air personality type? I love the name Skylar. I really like it um, and it's quite popular at the moment. It's a number 165 so I feel like it's not too too popular but works really well. I love Sky by itself um, but I think Skylar has something a little bit nice about it and it means beautiful sky so of course really matches an air type. An alternative to it that I was thinking is a bit out there, is Skyline. <laughs> I like to have a little wild card, Skyline. I can't tell what I think of it um, yet, even myself, but I saw it on a few like websites and I thought, oh, Skyline, quite nice. Quite maybe masculine for a sky, Skyline. The name Kasumi, I hope I'm saying that right, Kasumi. Obviously we'll all say it slightly differently with our dialect. It's a Japanese name, it's so pretty, isn't it? And it means mist. Uh, which I think is really lovely. It also can mean flower blossom as well, Kasumi. I love it. I think it is so pretty, written down like that. Nolani. I thought this name would be ranked. It's totally unranked, Nolani, and it means heavenly mist. So it's just so pretty. I think we love Noah for a girl at the moment. Nolani uh, works so nice, and I'm so surprised that with that beautiful name meaning heavenly mist, really lovely for a rainbow baby as well. Audra. I really like. It's a bit like Audrey and it means storm. So it's kind of strong, isn't it? It's kind of got that fierceness about it. Um, it's Lithuanian. Um, it can also be translated as meaning noble strength. So yeah, very strong sounding name. Um, but I love the name Audrey. And I think Audra has a really pretty kind of more unique aspect to it, doesn't it, all of a sudden? This next one's really interesting. So it's the name Napoleon, which I love. There's a book that I read, what is it? The Nine Perfect Strangers. Have you read it? It's really good. And a character in it's called Napoleon. And it always just really, really worked. It does take me to um, George Orwell as well, <laughs> um, Napoleon. But it means apparently, it's got a few different meanings, but one is son of mist. Um, and that comes through on a lot of uh, meanings. A very Italian name with Germanic origin um, comes from the word children of the mist. So I really love that Napoleon and it's nice to have it on this list here. A Hindi name, Arkash. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, Arkash. Such a lovely name, love it written down. It means open space or sky in Sanskrit. Um, Sanskrit names are really gaining popularity at the moment. Um, and Arkash is a really nice one with a beautiful airy meaning. Guthrie. <laughs> but these two are two really polar opposites. Guthrie. Um, I really love it. Quite a quirky name. Scottish origin and means from a windy place. So Guthrie would be a very windy, gusty place. Guthrie. Um, but I really like the name. I feel like I've heard it a lot, but it's unranked. So I don't know where I'm hearing all these Guthries. Um, but I think it's a really sweet name. Or the name Fei, which is Chinese. So we're used to Fei with a Y-E, meaning fairy here in the UK. But Fei like this, traditionally is used for boys and girls actually was traditionally a boy name but it has translated into a girl name and it means to dance in the air how gorgeous is that to dance in the air face but like this i think it's beautiful fire has some amazing names within the fire element so if you're a fire personality type you are very very warm <laughs> <laughs> um, you love pleasing others, you're very good at giving compliments, so you do have a, you radiate out of yourself and infect 
everyone around you with that warm feeling that you can give out. So it does mean that you can often be a people pleaser and you're looking for the um, attention or the respect of those around you. Um, and if you didn't get it, it can feel quite tough for you. Um, but it comes from a place of just being really, really warm and open and wanting to spread that around. It can be a little bit unpredictable as a person. So if that sounds like you, maybe that's your personality type, but these names might suit you. My all time favorite is the name Enya. Oh, I've really got a crush on this name at the moment, Enya, and it's Irish and it means fire. That number 854 here in the UK, Enya. Um, of course, it was a very famous Irish singer, Enya, uh, which might be putting people off because it's so associated with that. But I didn't realize it means fire and I really love it. The name Idalia for girls means behold the sun. Um, so beautiful for a fire type to have that sun um, element, Idalia. Just such an amazing name and totally unranked. I'm so surprised. I would 100% have this on my own baby name list. And then there is a sun and fire goddess. The Greek version is called Tana. Um, so it's a really interesting name, isn't it? Tana. Um, I really like it. When I first saw it, I was saying Tina. Uh, Tana, um, something like that. So I know a Tina, but she's Finnish. Um, so the way you would say this is Tana. Um, so what do you think of Tana? And it's nice to have that goddess of the sun. And there's another Roman goddess of the hearth or the goddess of the fireplace called Vesta. Uh, that's lovely, isn't it, Vesta? I think that's a really, really unique name. It sounds very um, vintage to me, Vesta, um, but a bit like Esther, of course. Boy, there's a name gaining loads of popularity online. It's the name Brantley, and it's a German name meaning fire, Brantley. Um, I thought you guys would really like that because we love those kind of surname as first names, and that's a really cool one. Or the one that really sprung to my mind was Ignacio. So looking at listing to how you pronounce it, it's Ignacio, whereas I would be tempted to say Ignacio, Ignacio, with this, I don't know why, but it's Ignacio, um, traditionally. Um, it's a name that I absolutely love, it means fiery. There were five boys called Ignacio last year here in the UK, but it's probably more popular around Europe. So let me know, how would you pronounce it? Um, Ignacio um, is how I've heard it spelt traditionally. And then a really trendy name at the moment is Loki. So Loki has is having its moment. It's already at number 429. It's shot up the charts from nowhere. I think particularly in the US it's really popular as well. These are just the UK charts. Um, and it was the Norse god who was very associated with being a bit of a trickster, magic and fire, Loki. Um, and it's really interesting to see that name getting so popular. And last up is water types. So I would describe myself as a water type. I'm a Pisces, I'm on the zodiac sign and I always felt really connected to that type of personality type where I can be quite calm, uh, I can be quite considered, I guess. It also says that water types is what goes on beneath the surface that people can get more intrigued by. We can be quite mysterious, quite um, introvert and wanting to spend time alone, uh, which is very much me. It's a very kind type of personality, want to help others, often work in healing jobs and things like that. So yes, if you are a water type, I will leave a quiz below that you can do. And there's some beautiful water names. I love the name Jura. And it's actually been used for four boys last year, whereas I always thought of it as a feminine sounding name, Jura, but it means autumn rain. How amazing is that name, Autumn Rain. So it's my favourite season of all, I'm just looking out my window at the trees. Um, and yeah, Jura, I just think is stunning. I don't know if we're ready for this name yet, but I've put the name Moana on my list because it means ocean. So obviously her being really modern Disney princess, Moana came out about four years ago. Um, maybe it's just so associated, but I would feel at the time our children grow up, um, they would be using Moana, but it has been used. 10 baby girls were named Moana last year. Um, so it's a lovely, gorgeous name. And I love the meaning ocean um, with Aurora and all of the Disney princess names are pretty popular. So I'll be ready for Moana. Lana is another Hawaiian name, Lana. Really popular at the moment and it means calm as still waters, Lana. Um, I really like it, I wonder if I could be a Lana. Um, a lot of people say how calm I am. I do keep my calm really easily for me. It's like my default mode is calm. Um, so it takes a lot for me to kind of go up and down. So um, Lana, I think it's a really pretty name. I've got here, this is a funny one, um, the name Skipper, because it came up, so it's different. It's like an occupational skipper works on a boat, of course. But I was like, who is Skipper? It was either Cindy or Barbie's little sister. 
I'm sure. Am I wrong or right? I don't know. Skipper. Uh, but I just loved it. I love little cheeky names like that. I think it'd be so cute for a little boy to be called Skipper. Um, it would really suit my middle son, Finn, actually, because he just is very kind of skippy. <laughs> he likes skipping. Um, for boys, I love the name Beck. Um, it's a great name, isn't it? It means mountain stream as well. And there were nine boys named Beck last year just like that, um, spelt that way. Um, so I'm really interested in that name. I like short, sweet names like that. I know a lot of you like one syllable names and Beck's a great choice. Oh, I love this one. Delamere. Delamere is a French name for boys. Isn't it special, Delamere? And it means forest of the sea or forest of the lake, Delamere. I just think it's stunning. I'm really into it. Um, we talked about the name Della the other week, didn't we actually? Um, for girls, but Delamere, um, very romantic sounding name to me, Forest of the Lake. Yes, please, I would like that to be my name. And the last one I have on here, just a very trendy one, and it is the name Cove. Um, so Aspen and Parker here on YouTube just recently had a little girl named Cove, but there were nine boys named Cove in the UK last year. Um, Cove is like an inlet, it's a bit like the name Harbour as well, all of those names. I have done a whole water name list before. Um, which I will link at the end, you can go and have a listen to for more water names um, and that zodiac name list as well. But I really love the name Cove, I think because it looks like love, I think it's really special. So those are my baby names linked to all four elements. I hope you've enjoyed them, I hope you've heard some new names. I tried to find some unranked ones and some popular ones as well. Let me know what personality type you think you fit into um, and what name you like in the list or you would add to. I love it when we add to um, these name lists in the comments section below. As always, do let me know any birth announcements. We've got so many lovely babies being born. Stay well, stay safe um, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want more baby name lists from me. Lots of love everyone, bye!